Welcome back to De Blob. Today we're gonna go to Guggentras Island. Guggentras. So, how many buildings will there be for us to color today, I wonder? Hmm. Hmm, <laughs> brum I don't know. I guess we're gonna have to find out. Right now! Because we are the blob. The best of the color team. Who do they call when all has gone gray? The blob! Oh yeah, you know it. Who do they call when they need a platformer who's brave? Dead blob! Oh, come on, I'll show it. And I'm gonna stop right now. Cause <laughs> I don't know if people like when I sing. I really don't. I don't see comments on it, positive or negative either way. Then again, I'm trying to make a backlog here so I won't see positive or negative comments for a few months. Probably more or less a few weeks. This isn't gonna wait a few months. I know something else that is, that's going to be a trilogy, and that's going to be awesome. I can't wait. But that's in the future future. That's so far in the future, it's a future that you guys don't even know about until way later in the future than when I made this. So that's how in the future I am getting. Get into that level, man. Get into that level where I will have content every single second of the day. Nah, no, it's not that, not that efficient. <laughs> But at least have content for every single day, regardless of what I'm doing. That's probably been, uh... Arrgh! I didn't see those ink crawlers down there. Trying to take my non-color coloration. Bastages. But that's probably the most difficult thing to do as, a, as an LPer, is to just produce something every single damn day. And it's difficult only if you're not prepared. If you're trying to LP by the seat of your pants, then yeah, good luck with that. Good luck. You can definitely do it, but if you are anybody who has a life to attend to, it's a lot more difficult because life has its ways of, of requiring your attention. And when it does, boy does that take away from LP time. I just need some LP time. Personal me time for LP time. Alright, we'll get the transportation going again. That's what this place needs, a train system. Already got the highways running before on the downtown, uptown segment of town. So now we should make some mass transport available for those radian folks who just can't afford gasoline. Or is it gasoline? Huh, consider that. I mean, we are in Chroma City. Maybe they fill up their cars with color. And right now, all the cars that we saw that were grayscale and blank and running into us every second of the day, like blind drivers, maybe they were filled on ink instead of color, and that's why they're functioning so improperly. Then again, whenever I colored those cars, they never stopped running into me. Well, maybe the eggheads inside are trapped. I didn't color them, just their cars. Oh, goody. I see a new enemy type. Yep. That's... That's what I was just mentioning, Biff. But I suppose you got a screen for us to look at that describes how to take these guys down? An inky jet bike. Wow. That looks like he means business. So, the way that you take these guys down is pretty much the same way that you take any of them down. 
except instead of 10 points like it takes to beat the heavy inkies, the ones that have the uh, backpack of ink to spray all over you, they take 20. They take 20 paint of any color to destroy. Something that's very obnoxious about these things is that they leave in their wake ink bots. But not just any ink bots, not ink bots full of ink. No! Oh no, that'd be helping you out. Why would they want to help Deblob? They're trying to destroy Deblob, not help us. They leave behind hungry ink bots. Ink bots that are thirsting for paint wherever they can obtain it from. And seeing that we're the nearest paint source, they are always attracted towards us. They never go towards the buildings we already painted, unfairly enough, you know? I, ah! Just freaking ran into me! No! <laughs> Ah, oh, jeez. So that's another thing about the inky jet bikes, is that they're swift. They're quick. And if they poke you with the front of their ink bike, you will be toxified. Not too nice. Not good at all. But if we keep on taking these challenges, we will mitigate their existence. Okay, 60 purple. No problem. We're already at 63 red. Let's get another red, and now a blue, so 83 purple. Where do we go next? This city I get kind of lost in, uh, this level anyway. I don't know why that is, but... Um, okay, I think it's following the compass over... Oh, crap. Crap, 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 crap. I didn't want to do that. Oh, man. Ugh, blob! Damn it, Blob. That's not the jumping I was looking for. Yeah, I, I understand why this game... Um, you know, it got pretty good ratings. I, I'm not going to say it got low ratings, but it didn't get the absolute highest ratings that it could have obtained. And that's definitely due to the jump mechanics. I mean, it's vital. It's absolutely necessary in a platformer. And I didn't really want to take the challenge. I was actually trying to get in the cannon um, to try and find this place. Whoa, almost popped my whole entire life there. Alright, that was just a poster. That was not the place we need to go. But in a game where most of what you do is hinged on how well you can jump. Oh, there it is. Oh, I get it. So we have to blast up to the top of that tower there, and then we jump off of that tower to jump onto the paint platform. Alright, alright. I got it now. Cool, cool. I'll redo the challenge. Yeah, that's right, I'll redo it. I'll redo it all day. What are you going to do about it? You'll probably leave. You'll probably give me a dislike, in fact. And, and then leave. Make me feel doubly awful. You left, and then you left a dislike. Jeez. But I would understand. You know, if I, if I was to do this all day, and still never actually achieve it, that would be... That would be bothersome to myself. Most definitely irksome. Okay, don't run into the red paint. Notice how they throw a bunch of red paint bots up on the top of these buildings to try and uh, trip you up a bit. I do wonder, though, if there is a uh, different way to get up there besides the buildings. I don't know. Oh, yeah! Time travel! What now? You don't even know what happened. Oh! Well, I'll tell you what happened. That noise that you just heard was my phone going off, and I had to go home. That's right. In the time that it took me to see that cutscene, I went back to Jersey, had a spring break, and now I'm back in Colorado, and it's still snowing. Still. Can, can, I mean, can you believe that? The last time I was recording to Blob, it was still snowing. It was... And it was... Much earlier, too. I mean, yeah, it was spring break, but it wasn't spring spring. Now we're... It's April 15th while I'm recording this, and it is snowing. It's a blizzard, and I gotta still go to class. Because <sighs> Colorado never cancels class unless they can't plow. Which is... I've never seen that happen around here. <laughs> it doesn't matter how much snow they get. They're like, nope, you, you better come to class. You, you better show up. You better. You better! Uh, you know, there's really nobody telling you you have to show up for class, so theoretically I could play de blobs all day. But that wouldn't be very good for my GPA now, would it? <laughs> no, no. <clears throat> Not at all. 
Not at all. So we'll shove ourselves into these cannons. And we'll continue getting the challenges. So we are having to paint billboards right now. I wasn't paying attention because I was ranting about snow. Ah, uh, come on, green paint girl challenge. You know I don't always pay attention. What was I supposed It must be billboards because there's only two of them. Alright, so where are they? It's got to be one of these cannons. That goes up here. And as I recall, there's no signs, no billboards. Um, okay, that's not the challenge. But that just shows that we've painted a whole lot of stuff. So we could progress on to the next part of this stage. This is a pretty big level, I think. If I recall, there's even like a, uh, a metro segment. So we're going to two different worlds in one episode. Well, it depends how far we get today. I don't know how far and how long it takes to paint everything. But we will see. I could just find those freaking billboards. Alright, so it has to be has to be this cannon, right? It's the only one we haven't been in. And where oh, yep, there they are. I see them flashing. They are a flashing. Imagine if it challenged you to paint them specific colors. Obviously, it doesn't matter what paint you hit the billboards with because they always change to whatever design was programmed for them. But that would add an extra level of difficulty, I suppose. Then you could start having those paint bots up here right by the billboards. Have like an entire army of paint bots that you have to go through and not touch so that you can retain your same color and touch the billboards at the color that was requested. It would be crazy. Crazy, crazy. Oh, and you know what also is crazy? Broken technology, man. Broken freaking technology. My poor vaporizer. I don't know what happened to it. It's like leaking butane now, and I don't want to light it because I don't want it to explode. It's not like it's holding anything. Ugh. The hassles. The hassles of being a, uh, a pothead. You know, it's it's not many, but when it happens, you know, no food in the fridge, bad case of the munchies, vaporizer malfunction, when it happens, it blows. But the good thing about being in Colorado is there surely will be some other alternative soon in my future. That is uh, the one positive thing. Actually, it's not the one positive thing. There's many positive things about being in Colorado. I just look outside my window and see a blizzard, and I can't think of them right now. Because I don't like the cold. It's a conflict of interest for me to live here. I love weed, but I don't love the cold. I don't love snow, but I guess I'll take extra winter if it means I get to stay indoors, play video games, and smoke pot. So, yeah, that, that's cool. I will do that. That is a uh, compromise right there. Life is full of them. Compromises. Gotta get used to that, people. Compromise, compromise, compromise. You'll get farther in life that way, trust me. You try to be a, uh, a resistant nail in the board, you'll just get smacked down harder. But if you're flexible and bendy, they'll pry you out and throw you in the uh, discard nail bin, and then you get to chill out not being part of a structure. And that made no sense whatsoever, but that's my analogy. And so, with nonsensical imagery, I think we'll close it out here, right before we enter into the next gate. Uh, but what does this guy want? 30 green paint? Alright, 30 green paint, 30 seconds left, right before the end of the video. We've already got 49 blue, where's the yellow? We just need a yellow paint bot, and we got this. Come on, we got this! Oh, hey, hey, I don't, I don't need to just barely reach you. I need to actually run into the paint bot. Oh, and there was... A giant yellow paint bot behind there, I didn't notice. Cool! Now we've got our paint supplies, and in the next episode we'll be ready to beautify the next area in this city. It'll be joyful!